friends, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be learning how to build these Mark Train by level coach cars. And I'm also going to show you how to modify one into the cab car for the end of the train here. So let's get right into the build. So the first step is to take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, and we'll attach that up. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate. Coming off the coupler, a light gray concrete and a polished blackstone slab under it. And we're going to turn the polished blackstone slab into two rows of three across the center. Then two light gray concrete on either side of the end here. Then five light gray concrete above that. Open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler here. And on the outside edge, a crimson button on either side. In front of this, we're going to put two upside down polished deep slate stairs facing outward on either side and then a polished deep slate slab under the stair here and here. Then in front of this we're going to get a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. In front of that we're going to do a three by four of polished black stone block. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then we're going to fill the top middle three on this second layer with polished blackstone to the end of this truck. On the side of the second layer here, do a full row of light gray concrete to the end of it. And same thing here. Then we're going to do another row of light gray concrete on the top of each side here. Then take out cyan terracotta. Put three across this end here and then come up the center. On each side of it, a full line of gray carpet. Then come down here, coming off this wheel, and we're going to run a line of gray carpet up the rail here, and that's going to be 21 blocks long in total. Once you have 21 blocks, cyan terracotta up the center to the end of this, and then a full line of gray carpet on this side, down to the end of it here. Then we're going to put an upside down andesite stair on each side of the end here. Turn around this way and an upside down andesite stair on each side of this end down here. We're going to fill in the sides between the stairs with stone blocks. End to end. Do the same thing on this side, a full row of stone blocks here. Then on the next layer, we're going to do a full line of light gray concrete on the top outside edge. Same thing over here, a full line of light gray concrete. Then behind this section, another right wheel on each rail and an end rod axle. Then a 3x4 of polished black stone block. Then another another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we'll fill in the top middle three above this truck with polished black stone block. Then on the upper hip box of the bottom block we're going to do two rows of three polished black stone slabs. Then three polished black stone blocks on the top here and then five light gray concrete coming across here. We'll extend light gray concrete up this side except actually this one needs to be open. Same thing on this side, extend it down to here. Then another five light gray concrete across here, and in this gap, two upside down, polished deep slate stairs facing outward on either side. Come underneath and put a polished deep slate slab under the stair on each side here. Then take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around, stack it up to the middle second block. Delete the ones we use for placement. Under it, put a sideways dark oak fence gate. Open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler. And then a crimson button on each bottom outside edge. Now we're going to come through on the sides of the truck and put a skeleton skull on the side of every wheel. Same thing here. Then we'll do the other side. Skeleton skulls on these two wheels. One more corner to go. Skeleton skulls on these two wheels. Then we're going to take upside down polished deep slate stairs at the end here in a back-to-back T-shaped -back pattern. And then T 
two lightning rods. Do the same thing here. Upside down stairs in a back-to-back T-shape. -back then two lightning rods. Then we have to do the other side. Upside down stairs in a back-to-back T-shape. -back two lightning rods. And one more corner to go. We do the same thing here. Just like that. Then, on the outside edges down here, run light gray concrete to the front of this polished blackstone section on each side. Then three cyan terracotta across here and up the middle. And gray carpet up each side on this upper layer. After that, we're going to switch back over to light gray concrete. Put two here, two on this side. Then we're going to alternate two blocks of space in a single light gray concrete coming across. And then fill these with black stained glass panes. So it should make six windows. Then we're going to copy this window pattern directly across to this side here. And of course, fill them with black stained glass panes. Just like that. Then we're going to take out a door and put a door on the top of each of these stairs on each side. Then on the center of the end, in a 2x2 two two of light gray concrete on each side of this door. Repeat it down here. So a door on each of these stairs and on the center of the end. And a 2x2 two two of light gray concrete on either side of this door on the end here. Then we're going to take out acacia wood planks. And we're going to go from in front of this side door to one block before where the first window is here. So start here and come one block before that window. Same thing here. Then we'll come down and do the other side. Same thing, acacia to one block before the window on each side like this. Then we're going to put a single light gray concrete at the end of each row of acacia here so here and here come down here and do the same thing here and here then we'll fill the rest of this layer in between here with stone blocks same thing on this side fill in above these windows with stone blocks as well then up here we're going to do two blue concrete three black stained glass panes two blue concrete. Same thing over here, two blue concrete, three stained glass panes, two blue concrete. Then we'll copy it at this end, two blue concrete, three black stained glass panes, two blue concrete, and one more side to go, do it on this side as well. Then at the ends of these, put a single acacia plank at the ends of all four of these blue concretes. Then we'll fill in in between here with another full row of stone blocks. And same thing on this side, a full row of stone blocks here. Then we're going to switch back to acacia wood planks. And we'll start one block over from where the acacia is and just cover this line of stone with acacia and stop at the end of it down here. Same thing on this side. Then we'll put two blue concrete on each end of the acacia and on this side two blue concrete on each side. Then in front of the blue concrete here we're going to put a deep slate tile wall on each side. Same thing down here. Then above the window three light gray concrete on each side. Come down here three light gray concrete above the window on each side here. Then we're going to do a deep slate tile wall on each side again and come around the end of the car on top with light gray concrete. Then come down to this end and come down and around this end with light gray concrete. Then we're going to come on this end blue concrete, put a single blue concrete, and we're going to use the windows that are down below and copy the window pattern up here with blue concrete. So gaps of two with a single blue concrete 
till you get right here. Then copy it across this side. So there should be six windows up here as well. Then we'll go through and fill in all of these with black stained glass panes. Same thing over here. Then at the end of this, we'll switch back to light gray concrete and come down and around the end of the car and up the other side with light gray. Same thing over here, down and around and up the other side with light gray concrete. So we should be looking something like this. Now we'll do the interior. So come down here, put an end portal on the left and a two by two of quartz bricks. Then a door across this bathroom. Here, use deep slate polished stairs to make a staircase coming up. At this end, a two by two by two cube of quartz bricks and polished deep slate stairs to make a staircase coming up. Then skip a block in front of this and we're going to put dark prismarine stairs on each side with a gap of space between them coming forward for all the seats. Stop one block before this. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to make this L shape of quartz bricks. Then a stair here and here coming up and two columns of quartz bricks to the top on this side. We're going to repeat it down here. Make this L shape of quartz bricks then a stair here and here, and extend two columns of quartz bricks to the top on this side here. Then turn around back here one block before these side doors, and we're going to use quartz bricks to frame in a doorway and go up to the top. Put a door right here. Repeat it at this end, so one block before this door, frame in a doorway with quartz bricks and put a door in the center. Then we're going to put a torch here and here to light that porch and a torch here and here to light that porch. Then we'll come through down here and we're going to put a torch on each of these window dividers to light the bottom. Same thing on this side. Next we're going to switch to cyan terracotta and coming off this top middle stair run a line of cyan terracotta up the center to the stair at the other end. Then on this side, we'll do a line of gray carpet and stop right before that stair. Same thing here, a line of gray carpet on this side. Then stop before this stair. Then we're gonna come in and we're gonna grab a trap door. I'm gonna use a warped one. Turn around up here and start running a line of stairs on each side with a gap of space between them for the seats up here. When we get here, turn around and put one seat right here on this side. Then a temporary block here. Close the trap door on it, take out the temporary block. Then we're going to close the trap door on the side of each of these stairs for a railing. Come down here to this end. Close the trap door on the back of this and on the side of each of these stairs for a railing. Then we'll light the top, so on each of these window dividers put a torch. Same thing on this side, on each of these window dividers put a torch. Then we'll come down in this mid-deck here, one block in front of these stairs, and we'll do two seats on each side with a gap of space. Then we'll put a torch here and here to light the mid-deck. Then we'll do the mid-deck at the other end. Same thing, skip forward from the stairs. Do two seats on each side. Then a torch here and here to light it. Then on the top of the end here, we're gonna do three rows of stone slabs coming across. And we'll do the same thing down here, three rows of stone slabs. of it an outward facing stone stair on each side, three light gray concrete across the center. Do the same thing down here, so a stone stair on each side, then three light gray concrete. 
Then we're gonna do two polished deep slate stairs facing outward. Two here, two here, then two deep slate tile stairs facing outward. Then we'll put two rows of polished deep slate, two rows of deep slate tile. Copy it down here. So two rows of polished deep slate stairs, then two deep slate tile stairs on each side. Then two rows of polished deep slate blocks, two rows of deep slate tile blocks. Then we're gonna go end to end on this top middle three with light gray concrete. And bring it right down to the other end here. Then on the top outside edge, we're gonna do a full row of outward facing, right side up stone stairs. And same thing on this side, a full row of outward facing stone stairs. Bring that right down to the other end here. Then we're gonna come on the side and we're gonna put a soul torch next to each of the side doors. Unless you have your train parked at a station, then use a redstone torch. Do the same thing on this side. Then next to the torch, we're gonna put a warp sign and we're gonna type mark in all capital letters. Hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack. Come to this side, do the same thing. A warp sign, type mark. Hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then come down to this side. On this side, we'll do a warp sign with our number here. And for this one, it's going to be 7814. Hit that with white dye and a glow ink sack. And we'll do the same thing on this side. A warp sign with 7814. Hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then we'll work on the end here. So come down in front of this door, put an iron trap door and a polished black stone brick wall on either side and come up and over the door. Then up here, a crimson button in each corner. And we'll repeat it down here. So a trap door here, polished black stone brick walls on either side, come up and over the door, and a crimson button on each side here. Then we'll come up here, and right here we're gonna do two rows of three iron trap doors. Same thing here. And this completes the build for the single bi-level coach car, but we're gonna do more here. So feel free to use the structure command to copy in, or just build as many of these cars as you would like. I've just done four here in the interest of saving time. And now I'm gonna show you how to modify the last one into the cab car here. So the first step in modifying this is we need to take everything off the end here. So take off these buttons, then all of these walls. Then we're gonna come take the buttons off on each corner down here. And we need to take out this row of slabs under here and this row of light gray concrete. Down underneath here, on bottom, I accidentally knocked that out. On bottom, we need to get three polished deep slate stairs like this and an upside down stair facing outward on either side so there's a plow. Then a polished deep slate block in here, two upside down polished deep slate stairs on either side of it here. Then I had to go and grab a dark oak fence gate for that one I accidentally removed and open it back up here. Then on each side of this, we're gonna do a glow item frame with a red nether brick block in it. Then come down here, knock out these two, put in blue concrete. Same thing on this side here. Then knock out each side of the door here and put in black stained glass for the cab windows. Above the door, we're gonna put two glow item frames, then a stone button on either side like this. Then on this blue concrete, on this side, we're gonna put an acacia sign and we're gonna put 
four slashes going this way. Then another acacia sign with four slashes going that same way. On the other side, an acacia sign with four slashes going the opposite way. And then another acacia sign with four slashes going the opposite way. Hit all those signs with blue dye and then a glow ink sack. Then on the side of the top, a dark oak sign with our number 7845. Same thing on this side. Hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack. So I had to go grab some white dye. It's a white dye on each of these signs and a glow ink sack here. Now we'll come up top here because we have to put the horn on. Starting on the right, we're going to knock out three of these stone slabs on the end. And one on the left hand side, leaving that one there. On the right hand side, open two dark oak fence gates for the horn. Then put an iron trap door on either side of that slab up there. Now we'll do the interior, so come on inside here. We're going to take out all of these quartz bricks in this door all these up here. Then we're going to take out these two dark prismarine stairs and turn them around backwards. Right behind them we'll use quartz bricks to frame in a new doorway one block back from where it was. Put a door in here and then quartz bricks up to the top. Then we'll put a torch on each side here and here. Then we'll come do the cab. In here Turn this way, put a stair on each side for seats. Down on the left hand side, a glow item frame with an end crystal. And then two up top with end crystals. On the bottom right, a lever for the engineer. Then we'll come back out here and we need to grab a glowstone. And we're going to put a glowstone in each of these two item frames for the headlights. And that completes the cab car. There we have it folks, we've completed our Mark Train, by level Coaches, and Cab Car. I hope you enjoyed the build here. And even though we've done the Cab Car, I still have another locomotive to do for the Mark Train. So save room on the track behind it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there rail fans.